Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, stupid. I've got a goodie for you today. So I was doing some spectating silvers, actually. Uh, a little bit closer to gold, actually, but uh, it ended up turning less into the normal roasting spectating into more uh, helpful coaching spectating. I don't do that very often, but this is uh, one of those rare exceptions that I was like, I need, need to show why this isn't working and how to make it work. And from the start, I had it right. Sometimes you're just missing one little piece. Even if you're doing a lot of things right, you're hitting those shots. There's one thing you're missing. It's something that could be so simple. It's a good example of it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and share it with a friend. If you enjoyed these more of a coaching version of spectating, where it's a little bit less roasty, a little bit more helpful, let me know in the comments. If this does well enough, uh, maybe we'll consider doing it a little bit more often. Um, but you guys tell me. You guys tell me, let me know if you guys liked it. And if you've been enjoying this channel, you enjoyed this video, these series, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. It helps the channel. We're almost to 130K, about halfway there. It's slowed down a little bit recently. So with that sub button, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it a ton. That's it for me, though. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you again tomorrow. I'm in the mood, chat. You know what it is? You know what it's time for? Or roast J3 viewers day. We have a silver coat sitting here. I think this was too close. We won. I don't know if there were mistakes made as derpy DPS, but I know I didn't do the worst. I'm high silver, but I'm stuck 18, 1900 repeatedly. I think your DPS is pretty pog flats and you know more about positioning than me. Maybe offer me tips for edge. All right, chat. It is now officially roast J3 viewers day. Here's so here's the thing. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more than the normal just roast. I'm gonna actually try to be helpful on this one. There's no no Sabina is one of J3's mods, and so I'm gonna absolutely tear you apart. Well, you know, been helpful to me in the past, so I'm gonna be helpful. But I'm absolutely just gonna tear all of you guys apart. We just we just had a video where we just tore J3 and his viewers apart. So let's tear his mods apart, but we'll like at least tape them back together, helpfully, kind of. All right, Sabina. The f are you? Wait, you didn't even pick a hero at the start of the game. Are you AFK? You sent me a VOD where you're AFK at the beginning. That's not a good start. That is not a good idea for you. That was a really stupid move. Okay, glad to, glad to see you're fashionably late. We're all working on your time here. All right, skin check. Default? Weird champ. Put down the phone. Put down the phone! Thank you. Okay, so for, for here's first things first. Because this is actually gonna be past just spectate roast and actually be helpful. Why the f are you playing junk junk round first point Bullskaya? This is an awful pick. Terrible. Worst pick you could have. Do you know what dominates this map? This high ground that you're on, this high ground up here. This position right here, this one right here, and this one right here. Do you know how many of them that you're helpful with? Zero. None. Nada. Zilch. Negative. You know what you're going to do here? You're going to spam at this choke until they get picks, in which here it comes. They're starting to get picks. They might stand there for a little bit. They might walk through. They start walking through as they're doing right now. Guess what? All of your value literally leaves the building. Here it goes. Guess what? They just took all the space in the universe. You know why? Because you have nothing that helps pressure them back. Yes, you don't have a great front line having ball, ball Ryan, but at least it's something. You absolutely cannot help them in any way, save or form. That's why you only have 30% ult charge. We actually just watched a bronze player right before this on Temple of Anubis generate 90 ult charge in the same amount of time that you just generated 30. And there is no way you're telling me that you as almost gold are bet are worse than someone that was 12 or 1100 sr do i think so not really i think by the positioning and your movement absolutely not you are definitely better however though mentally you have not made the right picks you just got smoked so until you make a proper swap you're not going to be able to be helpful in any way shape or form that's a good swap 
that would have been good from the start now is it good on first point no is it good on second point no not really but at least it's something um is it is 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 it the most optimal no especially not having any mercy pocket plus also you have lucio ana but it's at least something you get back faster you end up getting a kill your team's starting to clean back up this is a much better swap than what you are currently on now how are you going to play this here you're going to play the right side or left side you're going to play just spam choke okay but make sure you have a fallback point because you don't have any fallback points and they swap double hit scan. Okay, so you are of no support, you have no pocket, and you're about to get f***ing exploded. You can spam the choke just fine, but from where you're playing it, your only option is to drop. I'd play it more to the right or hug this wall to the left. Because, uh, well, if their DPS pressure you out, you lose all your value. Their hog is just f***ing useless, like brain useless. I, okay, he actually got kills. Okay, he's dominating. Never mind. Okay. I, I hate to say it, but that fight was literally just two tanks fighting on each team. That was just a tank fight. So, again, though, having having a fair pick, like, what are you going to do here? You know? You're going to get two tapped. That's the answer. Everybody clap. Now that's a good pick. Now that's a good pick. Now we can start to actually talk about what you're doing. Stop! Stop, what are you doing? What do you mean, what? Where, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna run over to the right or to the left here? What are you gonna do? We're gonna stand behind the right and go pew, pew, pew. You are playing now the abusive role otherwise known as hit scan do you know what's beautiful about hit scan you can sit about three miles back and can go and you can control up here and you can control up here so you roll out of spawn and you decided not take the stairs you decide to sprint straight into the fight your team's probably winning this fight as what it looks like but it's not about this fight it's about as they trickle back into the next fight your team draws beat you're probably gonna secure the fight with that but it's on the next one if your team doesn't pop ults there and you don't end up getting the, the easy pick on the ash the way they're controlling high ground might be a lot different because look what you are you are literally jumping around in the middle of their team you're jumping around the middle. You, you, does this look familiar i just want you to see does this look familiar to you just right click spam right click spam just right click spam like what is this this is why people don't play our game anymore who the f knows what's happening does this not look any different does this not look any different from the last the bronze game we just watched it literally looks like the same shit what the fuck is happening that's why our game is dying nobody knows you're forgetting they watched j3 oh yeah good point but the, the thing is this isn't really a flank this is more of like uh you know let me go stand in the middle of their team and ask them you know what kind of toilet paper they use type of flank like it's a little bit different than actually flanking it's you know because you're close enough to wipe their ass if you felt like it. You know, you know, listen, I know you're a J3 viewer because how often you run back from spawn, okay? There's a reason Jay has a command in his chat called like hashtags. It's like, no, command spawn or something like that. And it's like, don't tell me you burned to death. Oh my God, I would have cried. Um, It's like, oh, here I am. Oh, back to spawn. Goodbye. Yeah, command spawn. Yeah. There's a reason why that exists, okay? Yo, listen, low ground Larry, what the fuck are you doing? Why, are, uh, listen, I understand you were burning to death, okay? I understand like they come down here to stop burning. I get that, okay? But what are you doing down here, Larry? What the fuck are you doing? Why are you being a low ground Larry fighting an Ash on the high ground and a Ryan up close? You see, you're, you're, you're kind of figuring it out, but you haven't figured it out yet. Okay, you still haven't figured it out yet. Okay, Sabina! You're standing in the middle of the point! Just... No, you did not just... Their BAP is trying to heal you, just an FYI. Their BAP tried to heal you. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. That is way closer and way harder than it needs to be. Because you could just go 
back up top and just be a menace, okay? You wanna know where to be a menace on this map, uh, especially on Soldier? You come up here, then you go over here, and then you can go over here if you really want, and then you go back over here, and then this is once you're up here, and you're like, oh shit, look, they're all pushed in. Then you hit the flag, and then you'd be a menace. Why did that work? Because it's high silver. That's why it worked. Because the laws of this game change as you go higher. Hitskin thrives at being far away and poking stuff down. If you join in on the fun and try to brawl on a hero like Soldier, well, let me ask you a question. On Brawl, who plays Soldier in Brawl? Nobody. Nobody. All right, let's see it. Oh, the, the typical bronze strat of uh, Arisa Ren. Okay, so right here, you're, you're, you ain't doing nothing for a while. Like, you just gotta accept that. You just accept it. You're not gonna do nothing for a bit. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Doing, this is great. This is, the only thing I would probably, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you're, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. I would've, yep, just force out the Pharah. That's, that's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do right now. Just, just poke, build your ult. That's it. Might might want to think about investing in a name trainer there, Sabina. I'm gonna be honest with you. you can keep poking this. Keep poking this. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Okay. Okay. You know what? I like this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nope, Sabina. we this close, this close to having it. You know what? You make this crazy cross, you make the flank, you lock the legs and you, s people run, people run, people run. And you've got it, and you've got it, and you just decide not to finish it. Now, hit scan got nerfed. So sitting three miles back isn't totally the play anymore, but that's how you play hit scan. So you want to find a happy medium or a way to abuse bull. Sitting back all the time just peppering him like you tried to kill the Pharah doesn't really work. But what does work is if you can get close to them on a high ground by themselves and then do the same strategy but from a closer distance and you roll them, that's the way to do it. But instead, you're going to sit with your Rhine. Now they're running Pharah, so their Pharah is spam damage, right? Spamming, spamming, spamming. You want that Pharah to have to choose between shooting you and shooting at your tanks, but instead by grouping, you're all together. You're all gonna get shot, and you're not gonna have the space you want. And you got real close. You know what's funny though? You hit enough shots there. If that you were on high ground, you would have killed her. At this distance, if you were on high ground here, you would have killed her, 110 percent, because the fall off range of right here. It's still minimal, maybe like, I'd probably say like 90, it's like 90% or 80% instead of like, you know, like you only lost like 10, 10, maybe 15% of, of your damage, maybe 20. Up there, you would have lost zero or maybe five. And you would have absolutely rocked that Pharah. You also can't fight this Hanzo. This Hanzo is a really bad angle. Now your tanks are getting rolled. That's mostly because your Pharah was focusing them right there. And you were trying to deal with the Hans while on the high ground. You can't deal with them with where you're at. Yeah, they popped ults. This fight's over. You, you, there's no shot. There's no shot you win that. So, Hanzo is better at far range than you. Not really, but like, he's a sniper. But like, it's like, it's kind of a weird situation there. Like, the projectiles are slow. But if he hits you, you're f***ing toast. Um, Farah is spam damage. Your damage over time... You're not burst damage. You're, you're, you're damage over time. But you're too far away to really be useful. You know, you know, aim isn't always the best, but there's nothing a problem with that. If you were just a little closer, and I'm not talking about that fight right there, I'm talking about like other ones. Good dodge, good dodge. Good dodge. And so if you were a little bit closer, good dodge again, you'd probably be rolling it. By the way, I love the Lucio. <laughs> oh, you're a J3 viewer, all right. Uh, you're damn right. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take this Farah fight. This is actually a good fight. I like this. You're kind of getting juked out of your shoelaces, though. This is actually a good fight. 
Unfortunate. Took too long. Now go get high ground and actually do something. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. What? Sabina, you just shot yourself with a f***ing helix. Sabina. You just shot yourself with a f***ing helix. Come on. Okay, let's see it again. By the way, the reason you haven't won this yet is because you're not taking any pressure off their tank, uh, off your team. You, you haven't used any high ground at all. That's genuinely the reason. I'm not even joking at this point. Join me. Dangerous being that close, taking the duel with the Ryan like that. But hey, the Ryan's a bit of a baby, baby back bitch, so I guess it works out. <gasps> Tell me this is where you win the game. Tell me, I swear to God, if this is the moment you win the game is because of this play, I'm gonna f***ing go ballistic. You know what the, oh my God, this is fantastic. You have an off angle. There's nothing they can do about it. There's literally nothing they can do about it. Someone has to come force you out. You kill the Pharah. You're about to, you're about to have ult. You're about to pop off. Here it comes. Here it comes, the juice, the juicer. Here it fucking comes! Oh my god, it's almost like it works! It's almost like that's how you play the fucking game! That that's how you win the fucking game! I, I can't, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like, am I a prophet, am I a genie, or am I a genius, or am I just, uh, do I have two brain cells that just, that take each other like this and then they go hey what's going on create a little bit of friction a little bit of heat and then boom an idea pops it took 10 minutes to figure out that this was the play and what happened the second you did it you won because look at this not only do you have high ground control and you're much more in a better position ready boom one, two, three angles that they must deal with. Three angles they must deal with. You lose your Moira to the pit. Actually, technically four if you count the D.Va. Your Ryan pins their Ryan. Lamp comes out. Your Ryan gets nanoed. And he's not even like a big factor there. Kills like the, the what's it called? Their Ryan? But it doesn't matter. They're still up. Their soldier then kills your Kree. You're, they're still up. They have, oh, actually, no, they're, actually, your Ryan didn't die. I thought your Ryan died after, okay. So you're, you're even right now, you're even. They still have their Arissa, both supports, and their soldier, and Farah. Actually, no, they are up. They are up right now, actually. They're, it's 4v5. You know why, though? Because where you're sitting right now, you just get the easy kill on the Farah because she hasn't seen you go up high ground at all not paying attention and then you have free shots on their backs right here and guess what their supports have nowhere to go they have nowhere to go their support their positioning that's why this room is so important you know why this room is so important in this game because that room takes away this this and this into one spot it takes away the angles because if you come up here and try to come down these stairs and fight that's a bad fight for the attacker that's why this this room is so important they don't use it this is silver they don't know what the f that room's for they think it's just a magic mega room and then you pop and you kill them so what did we learn here chat what did we learn here sabina what did we learn today don't watch j3 beautiful I'm glad i'm glad class is dismissed I hope you enjoyed it.